Yeah, it's what yeah, it's what just by back in again with another video I just messed up on the intro though. Now I do have a shout out for Zeppelin Zombies, his channel link will be linked in the description below. Now this is take two of the same video because this first take this kept falling down and it's on a different angle because I want to do a comparison video between the two screwdrivers. Now these two screwdrivers consist of the one company twelve doctors screwdriver and the couch options 12 dots of screwdriver. This is not the 11s, even though it does look like the 11s, but it's actually the 12s. Because I've done the review on this, please check it out. It's way back, and I've also done a review on this and an extra video to it to actually program it and use it. I need to add them to a playlist as well. Anyways, um, this is going to be a, a comparison video between these two screwdrivers and see which one's closer to the shirt and which one's more authentic and also which one you should get the money for. So, first things first, we're going to look at the emitter, then the claws, then the upper cage section, then the inner core section, the rings, the black handle, the white handle, and of course, the panel. Now, it's on the white piece of paper because I, want to be able to, I don't want to be distracted by that wood, it's not really great. I've also had to change the light and it's bright as it's going to go. I was going to use a lamp, but I realised that I haven't got a bulb. But anyways, let's get on with it. Uh, I was going to get a ruler, but unfortunately, half of them are in half, it's not a full. So, we're going to have to uh, do it my way. So, here is both of these screwdrivers. I'm just going to put this like that. So, first of all, now, on the, on the prop replica, the emitter is more flatter. Like on the one company, but is usually milky and swirly. But on this is clear for a reason, it's more like the Captrotion's type of colour and translucence. It's because you want to be able to program it to a TV. Speaking of uh, Captrotion's, the emitter is way too above its point and it looks really, really. Um, popped out to my liking, but it's it's all right. But compared to that, you can see the difference. Now for the claws, on the prop, it's slightly more open than this. This is usually this is packed tight. But if I just slightly open it, get it to the right adjustment. It's either a bit like. Yeah, it's a bit like this on the pro sometimes, but most of the times it's packed up shut. And also on the claws, this is not this is has a little wiggle and again is really tightly packed into the emitter. Speaking of emitter, we have the capture toy here, as you can see too much wiggle on there and uh, it does not pack tight and it's usually bulked out sometimes you can get it like that sometimes you'll get it that like, or sometimes you'll get it even closer depending on where you get them from me the UK um, but sometimes you can get them like that in different countries there's sometimes different shapes I don't know why but sometimes they can be a bit different than usual then we're going to look at the cage here and you can see it's got the nice grating on the silver plating on each side it's nice and flush to the screwdriver and has little amount of wiggle due to the wet because it's to uh, help it slide up when you uh, flick it Cartridges Again, about the same, but not. you can't really notice a wiggle in it, but you can on the emitter because it's plastic. And uh, again, the grating is really nice, but it's a bit bulky on these sides, but I like that. Now, on the prop, you'll see on the claws, I forgot to point this out earlier, you can see the machine marking, like on the prop, but it's actually being cut out, but this one is meant made to look like it's part of it which is nice on a captions toy 
you can't see none. Now also on the prop it has these two little dimples, same with the phone company here. These two little dimples represent the rivets on the actual prop, but I think one company has actually done that really nicely and made it seem like they've copied it straight across. On here you cannot make out any dimples at the sides or rivets, it's all plastic and it has a seam where it's been moulded from its cast. I'm just going to uh, get on with the section here. Now the core section, you can see that it's nice and swirly, I like that a lot. Adds to the overall look and, it, and makes it look like it's part of the screwdriver. But um, on the bottom here, it, this is plastic. But put together, it looks okay. But I w it's a bit too plasticky against the metal. Nice and swirly. On the capture of some toy, you can just shine a light through there, as you can see, but it's straight through it. And why is my camera being stupid? I don't know. But you can see right through it in two wires. There you can see. And also on the bottom. Oh, this line's really annoying me. Um, you can see that there is a button here from where it's been moved to. And you can see through that as well, sort of. If you hold it to the light, you can see all the wires. And also, the uh, the ring, copper ring, is a bit too thin for my liking. But it's a, yeah, it's a bit too thin. And also on the cage here, you can see that there is little screws to hold down the cage onto the actual plastic inner car. On here, not present because the prop has a similar thing. Right, now for the copper rings on the sections. Now on the prop it's usually flush and it's riveted on to two pieces, but the closest we're ever going to get is to this one, because this one is more flatter and kernished than the one company. But this is like this for a reason, due to the battery access point, which I'll get to that in a few. Now we're going to get to the black handle section. And this is made from rubber, a diff, a, a, some sort of rubber. And it has this nice stitching effect, which I like. And you can make out a point where the button is. This is currently switched off. And on the capture options toy, the stitch, there's, there's two buttons here, one to activate it and one for the extension. You know, on the stitching. This is modeled from plastic and this is about the size of a prop, just a bit too tall. And as for the little rings here, these can be aware with because these are actually present on the prop itself. Now, the white handle sections, this one's too white, but... That's because it's painted and it's not going to be moulded or anything. So that's the closest you're ever going to get unless you can add some yellow paint or something. But this one has got black flecks in the moulding. And that's to make it seem like it's been aged. And the doctor has carried it a lot with him a lot recently. And actually used it. So it does act, act as a, a thing where you can tell it's been aged a bit. Which I, I like that. It's not too white, but I like that. And finally, on the screwdriver, we have these sections. Now, on the capture options toy, the 12 Doctor did have a removable power cord. In fact, I'll just get that one out because even though I can't class this one as a, a in the show showdown here, but I'll have to show you on this case. This is my beaten up version of the Sonic, completely beaten up doesn't work but anyways on the on Peter Capaldi's screwdriver one of them he had a removable core which is the uh, like a battery and he, and he opened it up inside of a Dalek when he was in the Dalek called Rusty well he named it Rusty and uh, yeah um, but this one has a red button and only Matt Smith used the button and this is actually present on the prop as well so if you're going to have a go at me, just have a look on Google Images and you'll find out yourselves.
As for this one, this one's a solid piece, as it should be, um, as this was meant to be copied as a, and I can't remember what series from, but it's meant to be um, one of them solid pieces where it's not openable, you can't have a point where you can press something, it's not going to light up or anything. Now for flickability, the one company is amazing with this. Because all you need to do is you just need to give it a flick. I'm not going to do it too hard because otherwise I'm going to smash into this. I'll try it again. And it's a really nice flick. And it has that nice clank to it. Just when it reaches the top. And um, it's really nice. It's got nice weight to it and it feels like... You've got something in your hands and not something like it's got helium in where it's basically zero gravity. Car attractions toy by the way is, well you know the story by now, it's on a spring and it's never going to stop, is it? So, it's on a spring. So otherwise, if you modified it then it's flickable. Closing it. Claws are a lot springy on this one, but kind of squeaky due to the spring. This one, a bit soft, but okay for reasons. Now, if you take a look at this, I'm actually going to um, hold this down like this. In fact, I'm going to have to get a modded one out to show you this, this version. But this is on a lot of car attractions, 12 Doctor's toys. You can see. That's all separate pieces all together. This one has zero separate pieces, but you can notice two screws in the back of these places, like here and here, and this is where it will be screwed on because it's in two halves. Right. Oh, great, now the thing's gone back. There we go. So. As for features, wrong way, um, this is just your standard feature, pressing it three times will give you this, pressing it four times will give you this, and again you have to press this button, which is kind of annoying. As for the one company, mode. you get different modes. You get practice mode. Control mode. Memory bank A. At the minute it's unassigned. unassigned. See what I mean? You've got three memory banks. You've got A, B and C. Quiet control mode. Got quiet memory control. And finally, mode. you've got effects mode. This one has 12 different sounds. Now, this is really good. It has more options of sound effects, what you want to use, and it really, and it's really out there that you can actually use it as a cosplay item. But this is Universe Remote. This is a programmable device where you can program it to anything that's infrared. And has also got TV Begone mode. Press it three times, hold down on the fourth. Scans for a code and turns off your TV. It also has a stealth mode, so if you uh, press it four times, hold on on the fifth. Hang on. It does it stealth. And if you press it five times, you've got a torch mode. As you can see, no sound effect. And this is pretty clever, and I like that. 
Now as for battery access, all you need is a screwdriver, a natural screwdriver to open up your sonic screwdriver, you know that joke by now. Just let me get the right piece for it, because otherwise I'm going to be screwed, haha, <laughs> pun not attended. So, to unscrew, uh, to take your batteries out, all you need is something to put your screws in. For the one company, all you've got to do is unscrew this copper ring here, like so. You've got two Phillips head screwdrivers, uh, not two Phillips screwdrivers, two two Phillips screws, and you've just got a, or a posi, if you want to call it that, you just got to unscrew that, and Bob's your uncle, in fact I'm just going to uh, take this out and show you for purposes. Now if you, it also can um, have um, a lock feature on it, say if you've forgotten your code, all you need to do is take your batteries out and put them back in and it will revise your lock code, but it will not erase all your memory banks. There is a way to revise all these memory banks if you're in programming mode and um, press it, um, do 10 sharp presses and it will arise all your memory banks and you can reset the screwdriver to factory default. Now your screwdriver is able to put into two halves, all you've got to do is the capture options where it is twist it and pull, like so. Again, this can be pulled off but I wouldn't recommend doing that even though it's safe to but you just don't, just in case you lose it. Even if you open it, it's still safe, it's not going to damage anything. And it'll hold two AAA batteries, which are not installed in your item when you purchase this. And also to put it back together, you've got these two little dots, you've got to line these up together. Like the pet from the toy, and I just missed out my uh, copper ring. See what I mean? Make sure it's in the right way. And then you can just put in your two screws. These are quite fiddly, if you lose them then if you flick your screwdriver and it pops into two halves you'll know why. Just make sure you do not lose these or round the heads off because otherwise you are screwed. I suppose you could find like little alternative screws but again it might damage anything if it's way too long or it's too small. It's got to be about the same size at least the same width. I'm sorry you can't see after the screwdriver in shot, that's because I'm trying to put the screws back in. Then all you need to do is screw this back on. And now it's gone back to practice mode. Tap on the bottom. That's what I'm going to put that into. Quiet. FX mode. FX mode. As for the CO, character options, you would. Uh, Extend the Sonic, twist um, anti clockwise, I believe, and you pull it, and you should see that little arrow. That's your marking point when you need to put it back in. Now, as you notice, there's two little uh, micro switches there. That's the points where there's a red button inside. All you need to do is unscrew these. Uh, I just unscrewed this one because I didn't have to change the batteries at all, but this is the first time I'm actually opening this one. So, I don't really use this one because this one's um, a spare. So, yeah, you would unscrew these two screws. Again, you can actually put this in, like so, and you won't have to worry about, you know, if you want to change your batteries, well, to unscrew it, you've, you've got the point there. And it takes three AAA batteries, not AAA batteries, sorry, um, button saw batteries, which are installed in the toy when you purchase this, especially the other screwdriver models, except from the metal ones like the one company. All the others take special batteries which are hard to find. Luckily, sometimes you can know them if you live around the area where they make these special batteries. AAA batteries are kind of hard to find in the UK. I don't know why, but it is. Just one of them things in it. You know, the things I'm lacking on, especially my brain cells. But anyways, and that's how you uh, change your batteries in your Sonic Screwdriver product. Now, weight test. Obviously the one company is heavier than a plastic toy. Obviously this is made out of metal, uh, not metal sorry. This is made out of uh, metal, but a special metal, die-cast zinc, and it's copper plated. This one is made out of uh, plastic with metal screws at least, and that's the only thing that's metal on it. And uh, yeah, now 
this was on two sites. This was on Amazon and this was on Find Me a Gift. I did say when I got this I wasn't going to tell no one until I actually got this in my hand. So now I have, so I'm going to tell you the price from Find Me a Gift which is 62.99, currently 63 quid and about two pa um, three quid, uh, two pound odd postage. And uh, on Amazon this is about 80 quid. This was from B&M and it was about 6 99 basically 7 quid. That's why I got two of them and these are the last two. But I'll just stop up on B&M. So, which one should I go for? The both are great, but if you want to cosplay and you want to take it to conventions and you don't have to uh, worry about having to lose it, um, this would be a go for you. And if you want something that's in your prized possession, you want something... Um, something more stronger and something more real reliable, which is this. The CO has plastic bits and it will snap off like it had on my other one because I dropped it and it snapped the back of this button, the extending button. But for this one, it's really solid. If you drop it, you might crack it, but that's about it. But it's still usable. And is has a really nice heft to it. No, oh, twelve, uh, twelve, uh, twenty-one minutes, right? And I would recommend you guys buy the one company because it is a great product. And uh, I don't know if it'll do. I don't. I don't know American dollars, so I can't translate for you. I wish I could, but these are both great. Now, for this one, you can buy anywhere, basically. But you can't basically buy them in the UK because you have to buy them on Amazon because they don't make things over here no more as much as they do in America. So I buy things online. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, comparison video of the two 12 Doctor screwdrivers. And maybe next time I'm going to do the comparisons of Toy Wise, the two um, 12 Doctor screwdrivers, the second one, the second Sonic screwdriver. Which is the second, uh, not second doctor, that was Patrick Trousen. And the 12th doctor's second screwdriver, which is a blue one. And this one. I'll do a comparison and which is better and which one's not. If you give this video to at least a couple, uh, as many likes as you want, I'll see um, if I should do that. If I do, then I do it. If I don't, I don't. Or I might do it in a future video. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. And also comment down below and subscribe. Right? So I'll give you a shout out. I'll even subscribe back to your channel. And also don't forget to turn that put, uh, notification bell on as you'll be notified when I next time I upload. So thank you guys. Also, channel link in the description for Zeppelin Zombies will be linked in the description below. Don't forget to check it out because it's an amazing channel. And I shall see you soon. Bye!